What's up guys? Welcome to this video. Um, today I'm just going to do a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, just do some makeup while I'm talking to you guys. So I haven't done a video in a little bit because my husband and I actually had COVID. So kind of a crazy story. But today I'm going to be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation. But so my son, he was actually exposed to somebody that was positive. And so he actually had to quarantine and stay home from school for two weeks. Well, within that two weeks, I mean, it was like a few days later, my husband ended up getting really sick. And he actually got so sick that he ended up getting dehydrated. And so we took him to the ER because he was just like feeling so terrible. And so we went to the ER and it ended up being that he was dehydrated. Well, since he only had, he seriously had every COVID symptom except for losing his taste and smell. And because he still had his taste and smell, they decided that he did not have COVID. He could go home. He was totally fine. He was just dehydrated. Well, a few days later, I ended up getting sick. And the day that I got sick, my husband's boss had actually called and said that he had tested positive for COVID. So my husband, still very sick, ended up going to urgent care and getting a COVID test and it ended up being positive. And so I quarantined, he quarantined. Um, it's just crazy that, you know, the hospital did not test him for COVID. He seriously had every single symptom you can imagine except for the taste and smell, which is crazy because I hear that's like one of the most common. And even me, like I had the fever, I had a little bit of a cough, I was down in bed for a few days and even I could still taste and smell. And I never actually got tested, but I just kind of assumed that I had it. I mean, he had it like severely and I, you know, obviously I had the fever, the body aches, the chills. So I'm assuming that that's what it was for me as well. But yeah, so my husband, he was seriously down in bed for like eight days. I was down in bed for four days while our children ran about the living room like all by themselves. <laughs> they took care of themselves. My kids are seven and four. And uh, yeah, they obviously I took care of them. But, you know, they were mostly, you know, kind of just hanging out watching cartoons while mommy and daddy got their rest. On another note, you know, I was watching AGT. I don't know if you guys watch America's Got Talent, but there was a nurse's choir that sang and they all were talking about COVID and how terrible it was and, you know, how the family members couldn't be there with their loved ones when, you know, they were in the ER, which it really hit close to home for me. Um, I know, like, my husband had COVID pretty severely. Obviously, he didn't end up in the hospital other than for the dehydration. But um, my heart really goes out to those of you that have had loved ones in the ER because of COVID and you weren't able to be there for them. My heart really goes out to you because, I mean, even when my husband went in for his dehydration, you know, and we actually, we assumed that he had COVID, you know, but um, when my husband went in to you know, be tested and, you know, get help because he was in so much pain. Like he had a terrible headache, you know, he had all the signs of dehydration, but also all the symptoms of COVID. And so we really didn't know what was happening at the time, but, um, just not being able to be in the room with him, you know, while he wasn't feeling well at all. I mean, I've never seen my husband in that much, you know, pain and he's never been that sick, you know, before. So it was just like really hard not being able to be there for him. So for those of you that have lost loved ones that have been, you know, through it, you know, in there, in the ER, you know, alone, whatever it may be, you know, I'm, I mean, it just, my heart really goes out to you guys for being strong and being able to handle that on your own, no matter how you may have handled it. Because you really don't know, like, I mean, for me, I did not think that we were going to really get COVID. Like, I didn't really think of it in such a... Like, I knew it was serious, but I didn't really... 
like think we had to worry too much about it. I thought basically if we get it, we'd, you know, it'd be like the flu, you know, we'd get over it in a few days. Well, my husband was down for like eight days and it was scary, you know, and actually I have a few coworkers too now that I've had it pretty severely and have been in the hospital because of it. And so just kind of a reminder, you know, to be kind, to always be kind, because even if you don't think it's something very serious, you know, to somebody else, it may be serious, you know? So my heart just really goes out to you guys that have maybe been in a worse situation than I have been. So just a reminder to always be kind to somebody because you never know what they're going through. So I just put on the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics for my under eye. So today I just thought I would kind of, you know, get on and do a little bit of makeup, just kind of talk to you guys about that. But if you guys do watch AGT, I don't know if you guys saw the um, Northwell Health Nurses Choir. They were just like amazing and put on an amazing performance. And it just really like touched me like, especially when they were talking about like, you know, loved ones being in the ER and not being able to be there for them. That just like, obviously I experienced it on a, you know, lower level, you know, obviously it wasn't as serious as some have experienced, but still, I mean, I can really, you know, relate to that. Like it was hard enough just being in the situation I was in. But yeah, the choir just like really, the nurses choir just really like blew me away. They were amazing singers and it just like brought tears to you guys because like what they stood for and you know, they're just, were very inspiring, you know, and just really reminded me, you know, you never know what somebody may be going through. Like even though maybe COVID hasn't hit close to home for some of you or, you know, too close for me, you know, some people have experienced it at a more serious level and you know, just always extend kindness and grace. I feel like honestly, like, so I was sick for like four days. I had fever, chills, you know, more of the more mild symptoms. But let me tell you, like, if you have not had COVID, like the body aches are real. Like, I, I will say I had the body aches pretty bad. My husband was a lot worse off than I was, but it was pretty brutal. And for him, he was down in bed for eight days. We are on day 14 now, 13, 14 now of having to stay home. And uh, like he was sick the entire time and we're still like both of us still aren't feeling 100%. We definitely feel better, but we still have some lingering symptoms. So just crazy. But yeah, it's so crazy too to hear like, you know, just like any sickness, you know, like some people get it more mild. Some people get it worse. I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. But yeah, it was a really crazy time, like a really crazy couple weeks. You know, we both had to take time off of work because of it. Our son couldn't go back to school for a little bit. You know, and he had to quarantine anyways because somebody at school had it. So he had to, you know, stay home and quarantine because of that but my kids were perfectly healthy. They never got sick and um, they were fine. So we really don't know if like my husband got it at work and brought it home or if you know my son um, didn't have symptoms and ended up passing it on to us some way or another. But yeah, pretty crazy. Like it like literally like when it rains it pours because like he got exposed, he came home. I couldn't be back to work for a while because I had to stay home with him. And um, then my husband ends up getting it and then I end up getting it. It was just crazy. So thank God my children are healthy. That's all I can really ask for. So, but it was amazing, you know, the people that reached out to me, you know, that were concerned about us. But I will say it is really cool too, like seeing everything somewhat going back to normal, you know, like watching AGT. I remember watching last year and there was nobody in the audience, which honestly, like the audience really makes the, you know, it makes the TV shows more interesting, you know, when you hear the audience reacting, because like watching AGT last year with nobody in the audience, it was just so strange and just like didn't have the same effect, you know, like it's really cool to see when somebody's performing on stage, like how the audience is reacting to things, you know, and then you really get a good idea, like if they're good or not. Like I would love to be in the audience of AGT. I think that'd be so cool. My husband and I love to watch the show.
So it's really cool. Like we actually stopped watching it last year because watching it without the audience reaction just like did not seem, you know, it just wasn't the same, you know? And so kind of got bored of it. And then now that the audience is back and they have the live auditions, we've been watching it again. So um, we've been enjoying that. Go in with my Hourglass Trio palette for bronzer and blush. And all the products I am wearing today, I will link in the description box. I know you guys like when I do that, and I'm sorry I don't always do that, but I will definitely do that for this video. And this is just a Real Techniques foundation brush that I'm using to blend this out with. But yeah, I, I just want to say like COVID doesn't really seem like that real of a thing until you actually have it. And, you know, you think like, oh, like, you know, some people only got like this sick or whatever. Like you can definitely get it pretty serious. I mean, just like any other sickness too, you know, the flu, everybody gets that to different extremities too. And, you know, just a crazy thing. So I hope all of you are staying healthy out there. And if you guys have experienced any, you know, COVID situations, you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story about it as well. But it definitely puts things into a different perspective when you have it or when somebody you love has it. I've been loving this trio palette, by the way. It is just so gorgeous. It is the perfect summer shade. I think the worst part of the after effects of having COVID is my skin is definitely like freaking out a little bit. Got a few like little breakouts happening. Like my forehead like right here started breaking out and that never happens. So I don't know like where that came from, but I'm gonna go in with that blush shade. And this is actually like the first time I have even felt like putting any makeup on my face since having COVID. Thought my husband was never going to get better because he was like seriously so sick. Like I'm not kidding you, he literally slept for like eight days straight. And then like being dehydrated on top of that, like obviously made things worse to where he like wasn't getting better. I'm gonna take the highlight shade and pop that on the inner corners. I wanted to do a little bit of eyeshadow today. I'm gonna to take my Natural Eyes Palette by Too Faced and I'm gonna dip into this transition shade right here. I just kind of feel like playing with some makeup today. And this is just an Eco Tools uh, Define Brush, Blend Brush. It's a dual ended eyeshadow brush. This palette is seriously the perfect palette if you're somebody that doesn't really wear a lot of eyeshadow but likes to maybe do a little extra for like a date night look or if you're like going somewhere, uh, really pretty shades in this palette. There's shimmers and mattes, which I love. I'm gonna take a little darker shade. I'm gonna go into this chocolate martini shade here at the bottom. Just one little tap of that and kind of just focus that right on the outer corner. A little bit more. I 
One little trick I really like to do, usually when I'm doing a little bit darker eyeshadow in the outer corner, is I like to actually do my mascara first because I just feel like it helps me visualize where it's at better or where it needs to be. But I've been trying to do it without doing my mascara first, just so I can kind of get better at it. But I love putting a little bit of darker shadow on the outer corner. I think it's just like a really sexy look. And then just brush that kind of into the lash line a little bit to kind of just blend that. Okay, looking good. So I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner and just smudge that. Let's see, I'm gonna use a mirror here so you guys can see because I'm like kind of looking off to the side here. Let's see. So I like to messily put this on the outer lash line. I don't like to go all the way in because I feel like I have more almond shaped eyes and so if I go too over, it just like makes my eye look all closed off. I'm gonna take an eyeliner angled brush and smudge that and smoke that out. I don't like a harsh liner. I just like a nice smoked out look. And I'm terrible at doing a cat eye so this is honestly the easiest way I can achieve one doesn't matter like how much I practice like winged eyeliner is not a thing for me The beautiful thing about doing an eyeliner like that is once you put mascara on, you can't really tell if you messed it up or not. So it's like a foolproof way of doing your winged liner. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pop some mascara on here and then like I'll touch up my little wings if I need to. This one's definitely like way better. I don't even wanna get close because <laughs> that one just like does not even look like we're doing anything there, so we'll put some mascara on and it'll all come together. I don't know what it is, but it's been so long since I've done my mascara. My wand is like literally like gooping up. Okay guys, so that's it for the final look. So a little bit more of a sexy eyeshadow today. Um, I love doing the eyeliner like that. I feel like it just makes eyelashes so much more full. Um, perfect summer makeup look. I'm not gonna powder today. I use the MAC face and body, so um, it should stay put like it says it will. But cream products, I just love them. They're so youthful looking, so pretty. Um, here is the makeup up close. So really pretty natural makeup. Love that trio palette. Love the eyeshadow. I like doing a little bit of the darker outer corner. I think it just adds a little bit more of a sexy touch to it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope you liked this makeup look. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.